What is going on, everybody? We're back in our plans more NF Madden 22 playoffs. Today, we are going to be playing the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Tennessee Titans, where the Cincinnati Bengals upset the one seed Titans and made it to their third ever AFC Championship game in franchise history. The other two were in 1981 and 1988. And yeah. Let's get it. Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bengals and the Titans, and it's coming up next. Brian Tannehill. Here we go, Brian. Just a tick under 70,000 packed in here at Nissan Stadium. Not a seat to be had as playoff football and certainly playoff fever have descended upon the music city of Nashville, Tennessee. Coming up, it's divisional round Saturday. and We've got an AFC battle on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> Hello, everyone, as the postseason continues here on EA Evan McPherson, the GOAT, the guy that walked it off the them. The first of four births in the conference championships on the line here as divisional weekend in the NFL is underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at Ryan the 20. Ryan the Titans set to take over behind their quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be second and ten. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They do get a couple, but actors. they'll be left staring at a third and Larry eight coming Ogan out. And Charles, Harris, despite Riley, this list of key and actives Gator. that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. To give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Yes. It's a 45 here comes yard Joey. Plus six yards on the return. Joey. And the Bengals will take Joe over Burrow. here first and ten. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. All in all, he was pretty solid in the victory in the wild card round and threw a couple of touchdowns. And when it comes to quarterback play, you'd always love spectacular. But in the playoffs, you'll take solid. Uh, and that's exactly what they're looking for from him again in this contest. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I certainly know that I, for one, would not like to be on the other end of a tackle when this guy's coming at you full speed from a strong safety spot. Boy, that was a nice play. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now it's Burrow sliding out of the pocket. And oh that is God, incomplete. Jamar. 
Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And taken right at the 35. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Titan football. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Coming and to hoping them. to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do oh that, God, you start to hit first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Play action. It's Tannehill. And incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. On second and ten, Tannehill. This will go to Henry out wide. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Cover three, Scott. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Tannehill throwing again. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> PA Cincinnati country. coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And the crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or down. on the ground. Did he get his feet in? I'm going to challenge that. Zach Taylor's made the decision. He's going to go ahead and throw out the red challenge flag. The previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And i got to say, watching it in real time, One, it was awfully two. close. Yeah, it certainly looked like yeah. a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Have to review the play. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Review the play. After review the play, we're on the field in reverse. Let's go. So a good decision that time by Zach Taylor. Mixon with a first down carry. Fights oh, him off. And he's got some space here. And all the way in for a Cincinnati Joe score. Mixon. Joe Mixon, 49 yards. Joe? And the Bengals are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed out of my way and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next gen stats. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that makes the score seven nothing. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Cover one ball. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're forced to play catch up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC championship round. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Tannehill. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. 
And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four. And it'll be third down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide yeah. open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get up field with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. This offense has definitely been slow rate. getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call go. for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's look like none on this one either. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fighting him off. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. The Bengals drive about to get going. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. He will find his man chase complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in oh, control uh, of the football. Cross. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now Burrow. Flushed okay. out right. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. And wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Play action. It's Burrow. He'll buy some time right. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Red zone scissors. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And that is caught. He's got it Joe for a Bengal Mixon. touchdown. Joe Mixon. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bengals add on to their lead. So a tiptoe catch back in the end zone. So tough to do, but he made it look pretty easy. Certainly did, and the back of the end zone is treated the same way as the sideline. You have to get your feet down in bounds for it to count as a catch. How about the backgrounds of some of these guys, though? Did they work on it? Maybe some of them were ballet, some dance, who knows? Yeah, you and I were talking the other day. I remember one of my favorite kid shows growing up. And now, of course, all what? scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. The previous play is under they're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone and not just the feet how about the hands how is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds that's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together so they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Let's go. So that drive, four plays, and it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. McPherson. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Titans getting set to go. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double Robert digits Press. at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. On first down, Tannehill. He completes it to Julio Jones. Nice. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Cover two in. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Clemson product, DJ, DJ Reader, Reader, got in for the sack. Well, when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays to go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, 
They've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line, well short of the first. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Thank you. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Yeah. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Amani Hooker. And the Titans are going to have it here just past the 25. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 26. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile Number of bodies six. there, and that's when you kind well, of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, Number they six. had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven, Tannehill. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Tannehill on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Tannehill. Over the middle, complete. It's Brown. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 43. To the air again, Tannehill looking in zone for Jones. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Back to throw, Tannehill. That is incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target. Third down here. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And now another one thrown incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions yeah. are certainly starting to pile up. So the really? adjustments that teams talk about all the time okay. have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Joe Burrow and the Bengals set to go back on offense. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, That'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it, escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. Oh, Which is deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. We and he goes it. down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The Bengals going to use drag. the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Rolling to his right. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. They'll roll him out right. And that will be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. McPherson's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. Now this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone. Derrick Henry and the rest of the Titans offense about ready to roll again. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you get a chance to come back to it. When things have changed a little bit, they have to make an adjustment. <laughs> Still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. This is Jeff Swain, the tight end. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw is Tannehill. He dumps it off for Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Cover now a timeout quarters. signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On first and 10, Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be a second down. The final shot here before the break, Tannehill. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. No, screw halftime. Final adjustments are underway in the locker rooms. Which of these two teams will survive in advance we the next weekend's AFC Championship game? To find out, we go back to Brandon in charge. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively, it may get even bigger plays in the passing game. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Burrow looking to pass. Flush to his right. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense Slugger certainly season. is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. Oh, my They've God. Seen blown leads happen throughout this Get there, league. Jamar. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now it's Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? 
And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 69 yards rushing for him now. And he's only carried the ball four Red times. Scissors again. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game. And for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes uh, he'll break off the big run on his okay. own. But oftentimes, you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the second game. Stretch. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch left. A first carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Samaj P. Ryan. An eight yard touchdown run. And the Bengals continue to pull the playoff surprise as they lead big here on the road. Well, after their wild card round game last week, you and I said, wow, they played pretty well. Maybe they got a shot at keeping this one close. <laughs> They've done more than keep this one close. Yeah, they've made quite a yeah, statement, kind of. haven't they? And I don't know if it was the week off that Pearson. hurt this defense, but they've been flat from the get-go, and that's always a coach's nothing. fear. Okay, you earn the open week, but you wonder how they'll respond with that extra time off. Yeah, it seems like they've been running uphill all game. Kickoff middle. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? so tough because we always talk about being a team game and you need all 11 working well together but every now and then partner you need that one guy who could make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things and i think that's what they're looking for right now yeah you talk about going to your playmakers they probably need to do it find Cover someone nine show two. that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays Bloody. and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else on first down it's Tannehill. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. We all look at the home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't it? And Henry gets the call there on first down as he pushes his way forward. A pickup of about five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Okay. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals 38. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Cover two, man. Oh, that's the end of the third quarter. One quarter remains on, for the right to advance to the AFC title game. Come this is match. the National Football League on EA Sports. So first and ten now from the 30. Here's Tannehill. Jones has it. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. And 3D. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Oh, good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Oh, one I know many two. people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quick their speed and their route running savvy. Yeah, the Titans are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10 down to the seven yard line. First and goal at the seven yard line. 
Here we go. Now it's Tannehill. Ah, touchdown. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Anthony Furtzer there to make the grab. And the Titans are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you I to want the a slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their sled hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. That's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Takes it at the seven. And able to get this out to the 25. Let's go, baby. Joe Mixon and the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them. And he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. And that falls to the ground oh, incomplete. On. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. On third down, Burrow oh, sliding out of the pocket. Yeah. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, when you've got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure to wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free, and off he goes. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. It'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. On second and ten, Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. The Titans on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. Oh. And that is incomplete. <laughs> so many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender a running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, this is the game it right arrived, here. it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Man open left side is Brown. Yeah. And he slips up past the 45 the before being pass. tackled. On first down, Tannehill. Open man, Westbrook Akine. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back to back 11 yard gains, and they've got another first down. Tannehill. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Again, Tannehill. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. He completes it to Jones. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. That's what I'm talking about. Cover two, man. This is the game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Oh. 
And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. He'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. I'll touch and he's got it. Touchdown. Anthony Ferguson, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They had the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, that sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slam their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know, you got to feel right. Exactly. Return middle. So here we it go. Is an eight point game. Recovery, obviously, then a touchdown and okay. a two point conversion to tie. Yeah. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly yeah. right. They had stretch. to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The okay. Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Again, it's Mixon. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. On third down, Nixon, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout yarder, as they get it with under a minute Pearson. to go now in the football game. Pearson. Put the, put the game away. Bang. McPherson's kick is good. And that will bump the lead up to 11. That's so barring something That's extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done. But boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. Here comes the return from the very back of the end zone. So now Tannehill and the Titans down by 11, 53 ticks to go. They've won three in a row, but they've got work to do if they want to get a fourth in a row as they come up on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Tannehill. He's going to let it fly. Thank you. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Trey Waynes. And the Bengals are going to take over once Trey again Waynes. at their own 25-yard line. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this him. little time remaining. But that interception puts an end to any hopes that they had. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again. Well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin yeah, with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got them in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. A one trap. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll stay on the ground, mixing again. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. 
The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On third down, Mixon. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And control of the Three football, minutes. switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Give him a chance. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happening in the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Tannehill to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. And the Bengals going to live to fight another week. The Cincinnati as we Bengals say, are headed to the AFC Championship game. So long, everybody. Let's get it, boys. Who day? Who day going to beat the Bengals? Who day? Twenty-seven to sixteen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And in our next uh, video, we will be doing the Green Bay Packers versus the San Francisco 49ers. So let's get it.